Testing, testing, one, two. I can hear you. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Okay, so we're smooth. Short traffic, Yank Nimmer Whiskey, departing circuit, uh, currently 800 speed, on bond to 1000 speed, uh, track to the uh, south east east. Uh, all train stations mm. door. Everything looks good. Pre taxi checks done. Oh, we'll do that in the run up bay, that's where we do part of the checks. Slight friction point. Trying to move a fair bit of weight, isn't it, mate? Yeah, some days it's like, is it going to move? Is it going to move? And we're clear of the hangers. Yeah, we're coming in from the city and it's like that weather's coming in and it's like is that smoke or yeah, it's a really sickness? weird. No, it's a really weird day. So based upon the current wind, which is anywhere between 8 to 12 knots gusting. When I last looked a little bit, um, we're, I'd, I'd be using uh, 1 9 as our departure today. off of the hangars on the other side of the airfield. Yep. And he's heading for the run-up bay as well. I think he said holding point. Holding point? Okay. Um, oh, oh, there he is. Yeah, he's just going to go to the yep. holding point. Actually, just because we're going to go up a hill, we'll just keep it rolling a little bit. We'll reduce power. Short sure, traffic gang, you must be currently uh, five miles to the uh, east, uh, currently 800 feet, and now tracking to the north to depart circuit area, so at least uh, old days to go. And now we can reduce power. Uh, Gorge, jump, jump up to 307, yeah. entry, you're landing off on the way one line, uh, short delay for the crew rotator, and then we'll be doing circuit. Straighten the wheels up. Try not to go too close to the edge of the thing because it's a bit rocky. Yeah. Idle at 2000. Okay, parking to the wind, parking brake on. Okay, we have a glycopter 
719, we have someone possibly in the circuits coming in. No obstructions on the airfields, no spectators or other aircraft, excellent, or animals. Good. We are smooth at 2000. Let's do a road, sorry, Ned. When you take your wife for a fly, you know your darling wife, you know what she'll try to do? Grab on. No, she'll put her handbag just there. They do. Really? Trust me. <laughs> so you'll have to be aware of that. No worry, it's happened to me. Flaps are down. Look even. Flaps are in the takeoff position. And look even. But that looks dodgy as a sin. Okay, adjusting the instruments. Radio is 126.95 and the area is 126.7, correct? VFR code 1200. Everything looks okay instrument wise. Excellent. Checking sure these are all okay. Operating within the normals. Sufficient fuel, pressure's good. Voltage is good, temperature is good, pressure is good, excellent. Five. Yep, compass is fairly aligned. Okay, we're proceeding to engine run up. So, rechecking the area around me. Looking good. Feet on brakes. And we're slowly increasing to 3,800. Gauges look good. Everything seems stable at the moment. We're getting mag check. Reduction in RPM, which is good. Increase, good. Reduction. That felt a bit rough on the right there, a little bit. But it came back expectedly, which is good. Slowly easing back to 2,000. Watching the gauges. Just ever so slightly friction there. Yep, there we go. It's reasonably smooth. Gauges look good. It's a bit rough, isn't it? It really is a little bit rough, yeah. Just give her a bit of a... Sometimes when the wind's a bit of a crosswind like that on the prop, it makes it do that. Oh, OK. Don't ask me why. It's a gyroscopic effect from the wind direction. Okay. Um, so are we just gonna stay we just gonna stay in the circuits? No, we're we'll going to a, go out to Mal just a, only not far out. Yep. But we'll indicate we're heading for Malang or just Yeah, just tell them yep. we're heading for Malang and just come back and just go, come back. Okay. The gyrocopter's not far off turn and base, so you'll probably have to hold at the whole point for yep. him. Okay. Deal pump on. Just taxiing to the hold point, tell him. Traffic Gorwa, uh, Technam 7361, taxiing to the hold point at runway 19 for departure to the Eastern Lane training area. Traffic Gorwa. Pull that back and. Uh, for traffic, dry cop to 3007 is turning base, runway 19 for touch and go. Gorwa traffic.
just rev it up at two, just run a bit rough, a bit low. What you do, you come over here and point it, brakes off, brakes off. Sort of point it towards there so you can, not too much, yeah, so you can see him. Just get a better view of the incoming yeah. traffic, yep. Just run it at about 2200. Yeah, it really is a bit rough today, isn't it? Just go out there and say you're lining up, but don't roll. Go on. Traffic Gore, Tech Nam 7361 entering and lining up runway 19. Traffic Gore. I hate his touch and goes because he just sits there. We're entering runway, nothing on vinyl. Find the centre line and pull up before one before the numbers. Once you get straight, this next radio call is your rolling runway one nine for departure to Malang. As soon as he starts to turn left, you can go. Just up the revs a bit. Right, oh, no, that's far enough. Go. Just give a rolling call. Traffic call by Tech Dam 7361, rolling runway 19 for departure to the East Wing training area. Traffic call by. That was an example of why you got to get the nose light early. Yep. Because it was still steering it. A bit bumpy. It is a bit. Turning on to base. What about crosswind? Ah, oh, sorry, crosswind. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of difference. One's one end of the airfield, one's the other. Uh, uh, yeah, not much difference. This goes straight ahead here. Yep. Nice parallel crosswind. Okay. Have the gyro on downwind. You just give a departing crosswind call. Just checking. Yeah, there we go. Traffic call by Tech Nam 7361 departing. Crosswind, crosswind. Traffic call by Tech Nam 7361. Tech Nam, yeah, departing crosswind runway 19 for departure to the east. No one cutting area. Tech Nam 7361. Ah, uh, fuck it. Oops, that's recorded. Right, 900 feet is high enough. Fuel traffic, Fox 8760 is taxiing for the run up at your core. Ah, what a bolt. Use your landing light. Yep. For visibility. Uh, don't go any higher than 900. Even though we should be higher. Yep.
So where's the High Marsh Island runway? Which one do you want? Uh, uh, this international, I keep hearing them all go. Well, turn right a bit and I'll show you. Right, level wings now. Stay at, stay at that height. Yep. No, I just keep going straight ahead. Oh, okay. So that's a private strip, I take it? That's, that's actual beers, that's a private strip. Yep. He's got a Cessna 182, there's a power line down the other end. Oh, is this the... That, no, it's, but it's a good place to check the windsock. Yep. So you figure out, if you're on your way in, find which way the wind's coming from. Trying to find his windsock. Probably over the top of it, Oh, we? there we are, we are. Wind's pointing clearly that way. Yep. Go left a bit. Good traffic, Fox 8768, taxiing for one niner. Go up. Straight up, go straight up this Pitchman Road. There's an easy way to find this. You go up this Pitchman Road. Yep. And you turn right where the Pitchman stops and go down that Pitchman Road. So I look for landmarks, you see? Yep. <laughs> Jokes on me, it was the wrong bitumen road we've been following. <laughs> cool, we're traffic. Fox Bad 8768 is entering and rolling 19 off the circuit. Cool. Just do a left orbit and I'll show you another one. Because it's one of, the, one of the ones I was looking for. Nice level turn at between 8 and 900 feet. Keep the turn constant. Ball in the middle, son. Ball in the middle. Keep the turn constant. What? What are you looking at? Nice landing positions, straight into the wind, <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep turning. At this height, straight there. <laughs> yeah. See the wind clock down there? Up. Oh yeah, I see it now, yep. Where, where are you looking? You're looking at the right spot. 
straight here. Oh, just there, yeah. Yep, that's, yep. That's two of them. You got yellow and the white one. Yeah, that's right. So that's to see how short his strips are, wings level. Yep. No wings level. Yeah. He's at the end of the bitumen, you turn left. Oh, okay. So now you can turn left. Yeah, tiger moth and a fox that live in there. Oh, okay. Short strip, but we'd make it if we had to. Oh, yeah. Right, wings level. Straight. Cool, it's having fox that I turn six, eight, turn down wind, uh, one niner. Cool. Dave, I have you inside. The cloud's lifting a little bit. It's still quite low. Ah, okay. I'm with you. Through the windsock? Barely. But turn right, fly over it so you can have a look at it. Oh, yeah. Jesus, I wouldn't want to go any higher right now. No? Eh? So I wouldn't want to go any higher right now. No. So, you're inbound at 800. You're <laughs> six miles away and you're due there in four minutes, so you can give a radio call to think about what you're going to say first. So, tech, uh, traffic call by TAC M7361. Currently overhead high marsh international. Overhead high marsh international at 800 feet. Yep. Uh, in, circuit, uh, circuit area four circuit, minutes. Circuit area four minutes. Terrain warning. Okay. Traffic Gore, Technam 7361. Currently over high marsh international at 800. Inbound for circuits. ETA four minutes. Traffic Gore. There you go. But you said you're at 800. Make sure you're at 800. Yeah, I'm just trying to balance that fine line between being in up there and yeah, yeah. staying you're close you're to 800. To, you're supposed to be 500 foot away from it. Yeah, that that would put us uh, landing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got the guy copter and the fox bat to worry about. Yep. Now, because I'm used to a decent visibility, I'm assuming, based upon the bridge in front of me, that I'm roughly heading for the sewer just over the side here. Yeah, I'd, I'd turn right on the downwind fairly wide, to, so that you do it you do much wider than what they should be doing circuits. Yep. So as soon as you, well, cross over the bridge, Head towards the sewage pond and turn right. Yeah, you know, before the sewage pond and run parallel down. Yeah. Go jumping, go jumping. Three zero zero seven is mid downwind runway one nine. Let's watch go. Go jumping. So, but the bit like he should be in front. Now remember, at the end of the downwind, because you're at 800, your life's going to change a bit to a normal... Uh, 
Sort of, sort yeah, of abnormal different. height just really throws you, you know, throws throws you out a little bit. It's different. Just work on your 60 knots all the way to the flare. Nice glide approach, son. Isn't it? Uh, it's working out semi okay. Uh, traffic, Keep the nose off the ground through this bump. 
fact, just keep the nose off the ground. I've got no rudder. Oh, there it goes. Sorry, um, <laughs> flap. <laughs> rudder. Not much difference, mate. Well, that wasn't too bad. Where's your centre line? Should be on this side of the road going that way. What are you doing way over here? Busy airport today. The three of us flying all at once. Wings level. Say a nice box shaped circuit. Square corners. Traffic Fox, but 8768 is clear, 19, of course. Traffic Gorwa, Technam Or what that wind makes the world of difference in the approach angle. I would, I still felt that was way too high, but with that headwind, it just.
Don't porpoise, don't porpoise. Hold it off, hold it off. Hardcore traffic, helicopter 3007 is turning base for way one line. First one should go, core traffic. Traffic Gorwa, Technam 7361 setting downwind runway 19, touch and go, Traffic Gorwa. So what happened, Ed? That fell right all the way down to that last few feet. You just got a bit slow. A bit slow, that's all. In the, in the looking up and the flaring. Yep. But you've got to be really careful with this stuff. Because that's what will break the nose off one day. But you weren't using your reference points for the circuit. You were inside Mount Compass Road. You should be following on top of or just on the outside of Mount Compass. Traffic Gorwa, Tech Nam 7361 heading base, runway 19, touch and go, Traffic Gorwa. Bit low. He shouldn't be lower than 700 on base. So you keep her flying. Get back to 65. As soon as you get over 65, you're going a bit quick. Try the left grass. Yeah, the left hand. You know, we've done that before plenty of times, haven't we? We've done it a few times, yeah. Yeah. Bit slow, bit slow. Just nail 60 knots, it'll just come down for you.
Beauty. Straighten her up. Right holds it straight. Nice glide approach. Okay, looking up for the transition. Just hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. The lungs and nose is off the ground. Beautiful. Don't forget the witch's hat's down by two yep. seven. Just hold the nose just a little bit off the ground. Right rudder and go. So keep using that runway. Yep. That was better, wasn't it? It was. It just looking just the importance of looking up yeah. in that transition. You're moving the stick a bit much. Traffic Gorba, Technam 7361, turning base, runway 19, touch and go, Traffic Gorba. La la la, a bit of sun. Question, because we are so low. <sighs> Sorry. Um, the flaps create an excessive amount of drag, which is help bringing us down, slowing our speed, which means we're playing more revs, but we shouldn't really be doing something like that. Would it be prudent to maybe not let, put the flaps on until base? You can put the flaps on on base if you want. The important thing is you do not go under 60 at any time. Yep. Don't go below 700 on base, yeah, you can just try it on flaps on base, if you want. 
but you're moving the stick too much. That's your biggest drama at the moment. You're over-controlling. Sort that out, and we're laughing. A uh, few, more, few more regular flights, and we should get that out of the system again. Should, shouldn't it? Should, yes. Stay off that flight sim, mate. Oh, and by the way, more right rudder. <laughs> On. They stop doing this. In reaction to the wind. Don't react to the wind. I'm not touching it. <laughs> if you get a sink rate, add power. If you don't, just leave it where it is. It's going really nicely. Keep it straight with the rudder. Don't go below 60. As soon as you're over the fence, you know you're going to make it pull the power all the way off. Keep it at 60 till the flare. Ah, uh, Roger, I'm in charge of 3007 is turning base, one way, one nine, four, I should go. Go, Chuffing. Don't let the nose on the ground. Don't hold the nose up too much, just want to keep it off the ground, let it fly. 65 knots. Use your pitch control to control the airspeed. That's better directional control. Sort of look at the compass, you had to maintain and run my heading. We'll make this the last one. You know what? Yeah, make this the last one. We'll stop landing then. I thought you were going to do that on base. Oh, yeah. Traffic Gorba, Tech Nam 7361, turning base, full stop, runway 19, Traffic Gorba. <laughs> oh, gee. So I should make you go back and do it again now. <laughs>
Don't be frightened of using the power to maintain uh, your speed. Yep. Because it will also stop you levitating down. Stop moving the stick so much. Oh, more right rudder, by the way. <laughs> Come on. Come on down. Pull the power back, mate. It is out. There we go. If you be patient, it works eventually, doesn't it? It does, eventually. A little bit of right rudder, you're a bit crooked. Right rudder, you're crooked. Ah, uh, cool. Jumping, Charlie Cop, turn 3, 0, zero 7, he's turning base. Oh. Way one nine, four, four, stop. Oh, oh Matthew. Disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> That's the last one. <laughs> How good was that? Go down to the next runway. Yeah. Because you've got something behind you somewhere. Just about it. Uh, that was just about a greaser. Just about. <laughs> just that fine point, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Your pump off because you don't need it. Landing light off because you don't need it. I left. Oh, the nose light. Yeah, good. Yeah. Traffic all attack now. Seven three six one clear of one nine. Traffic all. Go over to the taxiway. But do it up there, don't don't go too sharp. So why does he actually stop for a touch and go? Actually I don't know. That's, that's a landing, in my opinion. That's a full stop landing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, he said touch and go, didn't he? But now he's doing a turnaround, he's thinking. 